Nice picture. That's a beautiful picture. Good job, Mark. Oh, thank you. A two-day EDE course sponsored by RPAP was held in the small community of Claire's home, with 17 physicians and one physician's assistant joining from clinics in Banff, Carstairs, Claire's home, Milk River, Pincher Creek, Standoff, Tabor, and Vulcan. They welcomed dozens of volunteer models to the Claire's Home Aquatic Centre, where a makeshift clinic was set up. It takes actually quite a few months um, to put together. By the time you kind of gather the physicians that are interested, um, get them all on board, get all the equipment organised, ultrasound machines, which are kindly provided by the ultrasound providers, and then arrange the support from RPAP, who provided funding to help reduce the costs. The Eddy team are like well-oiled machines, so once I had all the organising to do and um, done, I pretty much just handed it over to the team that arrived. The Eddy course, which we're offering here, is the longest-running course in Canada. We have a very strict format in how the course is run. Uh, it's been tested in time. This is the 974th time we've offered this course. Now, the second thing that you can confirm that you're actually looking at a normal functional lung is something called comatel artifacts. It has very, very high standards and an incredible group of instructors that deliver the course. Often we don't have access to real-time ultrasound in a formal suite, especially in rural places, and the ability for a provider at the bedside to make those life-altering or life-threatening diagnoses immediately is immensely helpful. I think ultrasound is becoming more and more standard of care um, in emergency departments both in urban and rural settings. I think it's hugely important for rural settings because we don't have the same resources that patients will when they go into a tertiary care emergency department in, in some bigger cities. To be able to have the skills to do bedside ultrasound, I think it's going to improve patient care and improve patient outcomes. It's more of an acute uh, helps in decision making to see how sick this patient is or how we can best help that patient. As you tip down, you might be able to follow it. But Three, two, one. While the first day of the course was focused on education and hands-on learning, the second day was done in a boot camp style where participants could begin checking off some of their required scan times needed to obtain their Canadian Point of Care Ultrasound Society certificate. It was very informative, uh, very comprehensive, and uh, we, d we got a chance, it was really hands-on, so that was probably the most important thing, you know. This brings immediate benefit to the facility because as people become certified in ultrasound, they have the opportunity to teach other people. It's sort of a viral mechanism of spreading the skill set. The physicians who took part in this course, which was held in mid-October 2018, plan on travelling back to Claire's home early in the new year to complete their required scanning sessions. In the meantime, they are looking forward to bringing back this new skill set to the patients in their rural communities.